for the 6th annual 2017 Nick's Face Awards. So I have this zombie, pop art zombie. Um, she's got one blue eye and one green eye. Um, I figured since I did a boy version on my Instagram, which I will post a picture of on either side, um, I figured I'd do a girl version. And so this is what I came up with. Um, and yeah, so it says Nick's right here. Um, here I got two little wormies, two friends. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so I'm starting off by taking off my shirt because you don't need a shirt when you body paint. Now I'm gonna use a white eyeliner pencil. Um, I'm gonna use this to sketch out wherever I want the teeth to be, the brain to be, the nose, all of that. Anything that you're gonna put specific attention to, draw it out with a white eyeliner. I should say though, before anything else, people use white eyeliner pencils because it's easy to erase and start over again. And now I'm gonna shape the nose. And feel free to like change this. If you don't wanna have the eye underneath the left eye, you can put it underneath the right eye. You can do whatever you want actually. This is just a basic how to kinda like sketch it out so you can use your own creativity and make whatever you want. So because I'm going to be taking this down the chest, I'm going to be a, um, making a chest piece. So where the throat would be and where my like collarbone I guess would be. So I have my zebra bottle full of water and my Snazaru body paint. So this blue paint is actually called turquoise. It's a really pretty paint, it's just not opaque. So whenever you do use it, you're going to be able to see skin through it. Um, and the only way that I've found to fix that is if you do multiple layers, but you're going to kill through that product um, a whole lot faster. So keep that in mind. If you're going to do like a pop art zombie, I would go with like a pink or an orange or a red um, or a darker blue because this one's just going to fade out. But all I'm doing is I'm pretty much filling in around the areas. It's kind of like a coloring book. You color everywhere except for the lines that you aren't supposed to color in and I'm going to be taking this down my body it's okay to have kind of like a rough patch a rough design on the body because you can go back in and fix that later so I'm going to take the NYX velvet matte lipstick in Miami Nights and I'm just going to draw all over my forehead with that. That's going to create the brain. I really like this color because it's kind of like a neon electric pink and it just contrasts well with the blue. So all I'm doing is I'm spreading it on my forehead and I'm going to get a flat kind of like foundation paddle brush and just spread that out all over the my forehead area. And if you didn't get enough color in a specific area you can always go ahead and run the brush over the lipstick and then go ahead and fill in that area. So now I'm going to take the Snazaru white body paint and I'm going to start creating kind of like where I want the brain to part. And then from there I just draw squiggles because that's going to act as our highlight. Now I'm going to grab my black body paint and just add the shadow so wherever the white line is you're going to put the black line behind it. And feel free to make your brain look however you want. It's pop art, it's kind of cartoon-esque so you can make whatever kind of brain you want. You want to do green, purple, whatever floats your boat. Now I'm going to just outline with the black body paint and it's just going to 
pretty much separate what from what, so it's going to separate the brain from the rest of the face. This I would say be very careful with because black and blue don't mix well. As soon as you smear black on it, you have to like wipe off and restart. Now I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the Night Out on the Town palette from NYX and I'm just going to create a little shade fade with the um, inner area of the brain. And then I'm going to take the pink from the colored side of the palette and I'm just going to set over all that pink just so that way it doesn't transfer. So now I'm taking the Jumbo Eye Pencil um, in Milk by NYX. And I'm going to use that as the base. I'm going to take the lavender shade and just use a fluffy brush and set that all over my lid like how I would normally with a skin color. And it's just going to make an easy base so that way we can build up a crease color and a lid color and it's just, um, you know, equally blended out. darker purple shade and I'm just going to start to build that up in the crease. Um, I didn't really want to specifically like mark my brushes because I don't feel like you have to use specific brushes. Just as long as you have a brush for each individual area that you're doing, you'll be fine. So now I'm going to take the big fluffy brush and just blend out the edges so it looks cohesive and soft. So I'm using the NYX Duochrome Highlighter in Twilight. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid for my lid color. It's a duochrome highlighter and it's really, really pretty on the skin, but it's even better as an eyeshadow. So now I'm taking the body paint and I'm just going to go ahead and cover up the brows because I'm going to draw those on. Um, when doing this, be very careful that you kind of make the eye shape symmetrical because you don't want it to look too off. But with that being said, remember that this is a pop art zombie, so you can make yours look however you want. And so now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede, and I want to say it's Amethyst. And I'm just going to create my eyebrows with that. The cool thing is, is since this is really, like, pastel looking, um, since that is a light purple, you can just fix any, like, mistakes with the body paint. And it'll just correct, correct it like concealer. So just like that, it's covering it. body paint and just outline exactly like how we did for the brain we're going to outline the eyebrows um be very careful with this one too just because like i said it's black and blue so it's going to be hard to fix but just create the brows however you want them to look remember that since it's a pop art zombie nothing has to be perfect it's up to you um but always brows are cousins not sisters just remember that but fabulous. She's looking exactly how we want her to look. So taking the white body paint, I'm going to start to create the teeth. All I'm doing is creating a center line and then just making kind of like U shapes and filling them in. And you can make any kind of teeth you want. You can have small teeth, big teeth, pointy teeth, however many or whatever your design is that you're wanting, you can just go ahead and create that. I'm just making U shapes and then filling them in. Don't worry if they connect or, you know, you can't see the difference between the top and bottom because you can go in with the black and just create the lines. And also don't um, worry if you cover over where you put the white eyeliner. You can always just go back in and reshape it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm filling in the under eye bag area. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also going to be wearing contacts with this, so if you guys want to pop them in before doing any of this, feel free to. Um, mine are just like costume contacts, so I didn't really have them in for that long. So I wait till the end to put them in. But if you're comfortable with it, go for it. So now, just like I said, I'm going to go ahead and outline all of the teeth and the under eye bag. So just draw a center line. And then just making U shapes along the teeth. Bam, you have your teeth. So just recreate this step over every single tooth and then you'll have your desired teeth. I honestly think it'd be really cute if you made like braces for the zombie. me just telling you guys to be very precise on where you're doing the lines and have a steady hand because like I said if you mess it up you have to restart it. I thought this outline was really cute because it looked like a heart. So I did it on each cheek. Here I am creating a wing with the black body paint just to make it look sassy. white body paint and red body paint to create a gum color um, just depending on whatever color you're wanting to make you can I figured since my zombie looks kind of like pastel I would make it like a dusty rose kind of shade so while I'm doing this I'm gonna tell you guys that it's very important to remember um, whenever you're doing body paint that this isn't something that you can wear all day so for people for like Halloween costumes stuff like that it's cute for maybe like small parts of your body but if you're gonna be drinking sweating anything like that it's gonna come off so just remember that So now I'm just going to outline my chest area exactly what I had envisioned. Um, it's okay if it messes up when, you say, you're like doing the white and you overdraw like I do in a bit. You'll be able to cover it back up with some more black body paint. So when it comes to boobs, you want to kind of make it as symmetrical as possible. Mine kind of look a little bit off, but I think it's what gives my zombie character. I'm going to be taking the NYX Primal Color um, Hot Blue shade and I'm just going to be adding a contour to it. Um, you can also use this along the face, um, the arms, I'm trying to think of where else you could put it. In your ear, just depends. The NYX Primal Colors, that are the hot shades, they're really really pretty. They're really pigmented so a little bit goes a long way. So this is where you might want to get somebody else to help you unless you have a mirror and you feel confident with it yourself. This is just creating the outline. Um, depending on what you're wearing this to or how long you're wearing it, you 
you're gonna have to go off of that and like fill in all of your back or just like the front which I'm doing just because this is like kind of like an editorial look it's only gonna be showcasing the front part of your body And it also helps if you have a big wide brush because it covers more surface area quickly but like I said be very mindful of if you're gonna be wearing a wig or if you already have long hair of like how much of your body is gonna be showing because you don't have to use a lot of body paint just to get by with your hair you know what I mean you can cover it up with that And also when you work with body paint, I just want you guys to know that you have to give it time to dry before you put another layer on because if not, you're just going to wipe off what's already there and then it's going to become really patchy really quickly. So now I'm just creating the bones for the center of the chest using just the white body paint and a flat shader brush. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If you overdo the white and you fill up more space than you think you're going to use, it's okay because you can just cover it with black. All I'm doing here is just adding dots of white and blending it out with my finger. It's going to give it a highlight effect, so it's going to make it look more dimensional. You can do this along the cheeks, along the nose, wherever you're wanting to put it, you can definitely do that there. So I'm taking the pink shade out of the Night Out on the Town palette, and I'm just filling in the under eye. This is a really, really hot pink, and I'm in love with it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my black liner or my black body paint and I'm going to use it kind of like liner and fill in the little bags. I'm also going to create worms with it and you guys don't have to do the worms if you don't want to but if you want to they actually look really really cool and they add kind of like a character to the painting itself. So you can add them wherever you want and however many you want. Also with the nose don't feel like you have to recreate the same nose you can make it longer wider however you want to do it. Be very careful when covering the rest of your nose because like I said, black on blue, it becomes a mess really quickly. And now I'm going to be taking the yellow and just filling in the little worms. Um, this yellow mixed with the blue kind of gives it like a pus kind of like greeny effect. So I'm going to fill out the worms and then I'm just going to start adding um, a little bit more like pop and character to the zombie by making pus and like little pore holes So there you see me making little like driplets And I wanted it to look like it was oozing out of the mouth oozing out of the brain out more is once you go back in and you um, outline it with the black it just actually like shows more dimension that's pretty much what this is all about is just adding dimension and making it look 3d versus just like a 2d flat um, painting and if you want you can totally make like your own slime and put it coming out of these um, it's just however you want to make it so see, adding the outline actually helps make it pop a little bit more. So this is me writing out NYX on my hand because I didn't know how it was going to look on the camera. So I just wanted to recreate how it, the logo looks with the whole heart on the bottom of the Y. 
it's really, really hard to do on yourself, especially when you're looking through a little, like, ten times zoomed mirror. But there's a the little heart. I always loved that Nyx had that. It was cute. So now I'm just going to fill in wherever my skin tone shade is showing. And my camera died. So I pretty much just popped on these NYX W17 Amplified Lashes and my, a pair of uh, two different contacts. Don't feel like you have to put contact, you don't have to, but if you want to, it kind of helps with the character. And now I'm just outlining wherever I feel needed. I felt like the right side of my face was a little blank, so I wanted to create a little pus village. And just adding where I did some outlines to create the dimension, I'm putting a little bit of white to add a highlight. And just like I said, it makes it pop and gives you a little bit more of a 3D effect. And taking the hot blue shade, I'm just going to go ahead and use that as a contour powder. The way that this turned out, I think it's really, really pretty and it's really cool, especially for like Halloween. It's going to be kind of like a statement piece in a way. People are going to not, are, like people won't forget this. So what would a pop art zombie be without some pop art dots? So I'm just taking a little bit more of the liquid suede and just putting dots wherever I want because it's pop art, so do whatever you want. You can add any shade of colors that you want. I just chose to stick with the um, like amethyst purple and the white, or not the white, the yellow. So I'm going to put yellow dots too. whatever you have if you want to use big um the ends of your brushes or if you have like stamps feel free to use those i just use brushes because it's all that i had available to me but i like the way it turned out this is the wig i'm gonna be using um i got it off of ebay it was only seven dollars and it's a really nice wig actually for the qual um the price the quality is really cool So be very mindful when it comes to the hair on what's going to be showing and what's not going to be showing. So clearly I overdid the brain, but I still like that there was enough um, coverage under there. So in case it like the wig comes off or like the brain pokes through, there's still more to see. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it's something that y'all can recreate very easily. Um, and this, like I said, was my entry for the next face word. So let's see if we make it to top 30. Buy my little arties.